you don't have too many insecurities about who you are as a person or, or things like that, right? You're not really like, overcompensating for anything. Yeah, you're not overcompensating for anything. J- like, same as you. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to just make a point here. What episode is this? 69. 68. God, get with the program. Are you sure? Yes. What's up, guys? Wait, Welcome to episode about, 68 of the, of the podcast. Huh? But weren't we talking about porn stars last episode? Because no. you said it was a good idea to get Riley Reed on for episode 69. Which is next week. Which is oh. next week. I want to know one thing. When's the last time you watched the podcast? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Never. Exactly. When was the last time you watched the podcast? I watch it every time. Bullshit. Do I not, Jared? He absolutely does. When you it goes watch on the live. full hour. Uh, actually, no. I do not watch the full <laughs> hour. I watch it in like double speed. So technically the full hour, but in half the time. If, but if I didn't a, know you could do that with YouTube until you showed me. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome back to six, uh, episode 68 of a podcast that go find a better podcast. We tell no, you every stop. week. Go I'm, f- I'm not leaving that in. Jared, that is funny. People are going to say it's reverse psychology. Obviously, we want them to listen to our podcast. I'm saying don't listen to our podcast. That you way look they, like a crab. They, they, why they, they, why they, listen to podcast? They stay on our podcast more because they're not supposed to listen to it. Click off. Double the clicks, Jared. I, I, <laughs> we got Beetlejuice over here. Tell me how to run a podcast. You told me I look good in this you shirt. You do look good in that shirt. And I'm just a little worried that you get too insecure sometimes. So I have to give you that pep talk. That Zach just a pep talk. You're my little baby boy. And I want you to feel good and comfortable in your own skin. He gets too down on himself. You do. He has so many great qualities. Thank you. you Don't do. say thank you. Recently? Wait, who uh, was this I is me getting you? mad. You know, actually a conversation I had with Miss Gina recently. That's my mom. <laughs> She's been divorced know? twice. You want to know? Yeah. We're both like, wow, his skin looks so great. It's so glowy and so clear. And I was just like, yeah. He goes, was she using, was, is he using a new product? And I was like, no, I don't think so. He's actually really stressed right now. And she goes, the stress is doing wonders for skin. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to, I guess s- I need to be I think, stressed more. I think you're the new bad boy of the podcast. I don't think I'm the bad boy <laughs> you're of the, anything. You're the sex icon of the podcast. <laughs> if we were all Spice Girls, what Spice Girls would we be? I don't know what a Spice I, Girl is. I don't what? know the names. I know Scary Spice. I'd be Paprika. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What would you be? Cayenne. I'd be garlic powder. <laughs> garlic yeah, powder I is think my you favorite would be. spice. It is my favorite spice too. Oh, fuck yeah. I think you Freak. would be garlic yeah, powder. Yeah, Jared. You know hold why? on, hold on, hold on. Custers don't make friends. My mom taught me that heading into middle school. Do you want to know Freak, why I think yeah. you'd be garlic there powder, Jared? Why? Because you're everybody's favorite. Oh. You're a safe choice. Like you're good. You're a good go-to. You go on anything. Yeah. That's so sweet. But your mental, mental stability is not good right now because you're going, uh, a lot of things are happening in your personal life that aren't <laughs> good, right? Oh, yeah. Right, Jared? Yeah. There's a lot going on there. That's why your you? bad boy persona is coming out because you're putting up this shell and I is like that it. Why, is that why you're hiding the thing from me and your other friend? What was I hiding? Well, I don't want to say it because I don't want to. Hi- oh, oh. Is I that why you were low-key? You didn't bring it up though. I wasn't hiding it. I, I just, just didn't bring it up. <laughs> you know what's a real well, fun thing about podcasts? Talking about stuff where the listener has secret, no idea what we're talking about. Secrets are no fun unless they're shared with everyone. One day I hope that we can hug each other and come to the realization that we're in love. Who? Jared what? and I. Oh, I thought you already did Hit that. Hit some intro music. I don't know what we're rambling about. Dude, that was, yeah. I think that was a record. That was like three or four minutes into the podcast. Actually, no, I guess the record would have been when. My Nick cousin Nick has came. a record. <laughs> I'm not allowed to say what he did, but he. Allegedly. Do I say my intro now? Yes. Okay. You didn't say swag, daddy. I, oh God, you have no idea what this podcast is. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, viewers? Welcome back to episode 68 of Dropouts. Holy shit. We're kicking you off. Let's take a vote. When did he stop saying swag daddies? He didn't. His thing, he doesn't necessarily have to say swag daddies. He says that a lot, but he always starts the podcast by saying, what's up, guys? Welcome back to episode blah, blah, blah. Uh And it's so childish that my mantra is I'm a swag daddy. (laughs) I've been thinking about that a lot recently. Everybody's like, what's up, swag daddy? But I feel like I need to embrace it. Um, You absolutely need to embrace it. I think it's pretty cool. I think it is not childish at all because I think you are just the embodiment of a swag daddy. And I think that's fine. It's not childish because it, it embraces the irony of how ridiculous the term swag daddy 100%. is. 100%. And I think that matches your sense of humor. And right. So think about like that person DM'd you. I don't really want to be friends with you guys anymore. And I've been um, actively looking for other people to hang out with. That just has, so you guys know. I've seen him on Bumble Friends recently. That's all Bumble that Friends? Yeah. Nice. 
Um, I've been trying to do that. Branch out, meet people. It's not working very who well. Who have you met? No one. That's why it's not working All well. you did was meet Jared's alter ego and thought it was a different person. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at making friends. My anxiety isn't great. Um, Andy, you're a female. Can you tell me the difference? Have you, have you ever had to friend zone someone? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, give me a ballpark number of people um, that you friend zoned. 15, 20. Wow. Whoa. That many people want to kiss you? <laughs> <laughs> Fat nah, that's honestly nah. <laughs> no, nah. okay, okay. Maybe, so, so maybe. does that feel like? Okay, to be designed. I'm, I'm, that's maybe highballing it, but let's say fifty. Okay. All okay. Right. Still, that's a great number of potential suitors um, that obviously you didn't have the right romantic chemistry with, mm-hmm. and that's okay. Um, but how can you tell the difference between being friendly and flirty? I have this problem. That's a good, like, what do you mean? Like the, the vibe that they're giving off? Okay, both, okay, how how do you act when you're just being friendly versus when you're being flirty? And then reverse, what signs do you pick up on when someone else is being that way to you? That's, First with you. That's a really good question. I um, know, I'm just I, about that. I actually don't think I've mastered that. Mastered. Because you've told me you're like, Indiana, why are you flirting with that person? I'm like, I'm not flirting. Me specifically. <laughs> anyway, you've, go on. You've been like, Indy, you're flirting with that person. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm just being nice. But then you've also, on the other hand, been like, that guy's flirting with you. And I'm like, no, he's not. He's being nice. And you're like, no, he's 100% flirting with you. And, and both then- your guys' clothes are off. You're like, we're just hanging out as naked <laughs> friends. And like, I think- No, but then you're like, oh. And then like later down the track, I'm like, oh, he actually was flirting with me. And you're like, who would have thought? <laughs> who would have thought? No, yeah, you had- you had this guy that was constantly flirting you and texting you and talking to you and you brought it up to Jared and I like, oh, this guy's so fun to talk to. And we were like, oh, he wants to be with you physically and intimately. And you're like, no, he's just being my friend. He likes all this stuff about me. And then um, Mm -hmm. you brought up the fact that you were talking to another guy and then he stopped talking to you. Yeah. Mm. Because he thought you guys were an item. Funny how that works. So, So basically, you you don't know the answer. No. Okay, Jerry. Well, no, no, actually, I can kind of tell with guys. It, now I can, I think. I've started to pick up a little bit better because my self-awareness has Skyrocketed. Enhanced. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I was going to say, but it's just absolutely, I didn't have self-awareness and now I do. Now you're at 12%. Yeah. Um, and so I think I can like pick up on things within myself and around other people a lot more now. And so I think I understand it a little more. I think it's about like, the way that they're saying things and the way that they're treating you and like. Okay, how does an F boy, I I don't know if that's the right term. I'm trying to stay current with the the kids, but, um, and then a gentleman that you want to pursue, like what's the difference between how they pursue you and what do you respond better to? Oh, the gentleman. Well, I think old Indy would have always gone for the F boys. And and what about about them attracted you to them? The F boys? Yeah, was it the way they hit the (gasps) woe or? (laughs) <laughs> that's a really good question honestly because i now look at myself and i'm like you idiot what were you doing like and i, I don't no, know but just be like and then it's fine like everyone goes through phases it's not a bad thing to be attracted to those things you're attracted to what you're attracted to but what what was it that draw drew you to them is that mm-hmm. the right i think it was the um you want what you can't have thing but they did want me so that's i don't know what, I think I feel like it was just much more rudimentary, like very primal. Like I, I, I feel like it was much. I think it was also like what I was used to. Like I was going after what I was used to. Like all my life, I had only ever had like. But did you did you have like simple brain at the time where you're like hot guy? Uh, uh scientifically should be attracted to them. <laughs> uh, no, but I think that that's all that I was really thinking about. I was like, oh, he's cute. And that was like the most about it. Like, I, And then I tried to like his personality after I thought I was cute before, versus the other way around. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Like I was immediately attracted to this person and like wanted to like have them before I was like, oh, you're a really bad person. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But then I was too wrapped up in them and then they had already started man- mentally manipulating me before I realized how shitty of a person they were. Hot. And now like I, I was asked the question the other day. I mean- From who? Because I mean, think about where I was a year ago. Like- I can't think In o- October of 2020 compared to October right now, very different, per- very Good different question. people. I'm going to see what, uh, what, what, what day is this going to come out? This is going to come out. Jared, I don't know. I didn't even know you guys were recording all this. On the 10th, I think. So let me see where we were a year ago. Keep talking. So basically just thinking about like who I was a year ago. Um, and somebody asked me the question. They're like, when you were in 
really, really shitty relationships or like your last one, did you ever for a second be like, this guy's like bad. He's like really bad. Like you're in a really shitty situation. And I was like, not until the very end did I start to feel that way. The whole time I was like, everybody around me is crazy. They don't understand it. Okay, but what what are what were you attracted to with the bad boys back then? I don't know. You you can't even remember a little bit. I I, I the chase maybe. So you yeah. I feel like the confidence. Like F the boys confidence, typically the know that they're attractive and that people have that initial attraction to them. Is confidence like, a big attractive huge, factor to you? Okay. Huge, huge. But do you huge. think, do, so now in reflection, do you see their confidence more as cockiness? I see their confidence as insecurity. Okay. Ooh, so it's like a mask. Like it's, it's a very different, it's confidence and like insecurities. Like they show exactly the same way, but you can, once you've dealt with both people, like you are a very, very confident person, nope. but I wouldn't say that you have like too many insecurities about like the way, like who you are as a person, if that makes sense. Yeah. Cause um, I, my only flaw is I work too hard. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know a what job I mean? Interview? Like you don't have too many insecurities about who you are as a person or, or things like that, right? You're not really like, overcompensating for anything. Yeah, you're not overcompensating for anything. J like, same as you. I don't think that you're, a, I mean, yes, no, you I have your know. insecurities, but I, you're secure in the type of person you are and you know you're a good person at the end of the day. You go to bed knowing that you're whatever. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to just make a point here. Those people don't. They go to bed like, just, I don't know what goes on in there. What, uh, so so now you're attracted to, to more studious individuals um maybe not studious just like good people like good and genuine. what what you what attracts you to a guy now and 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 the people out there they might be looking at the wrong guys and and what's yeah you can help them conversation make better choices. But, okay conversation conversation is like the most and that sounds like the dumbest thing ever like the most baseline but i <laughs> like remember i was to talk to i them. was talking to my ex um and then i like let's we, roll a clip and then we <laughs> I was talking to my ex and then we ended things and I was talking to this guy. Um, and then I was obviously got wrapped up in my ex again. So I was like, peace, new guy. And I went to go have conversations with this, my ex again. And like, I tried to have the same kind of conversations cause that's what I had gotten used to. And like, that was clearly good for me. And then I was like, Why? I can't talk to you about a damn thing. Darn. <laughs> I literally, I was like, what, what, what do we ever talk about? Like, what did we ever talk about? A whole lot of nothing. But actually I was like, what? I mean, you witnessed it, Jared. Well, yeah. Like You're what gonna... did we say to each other? X was an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what did we say to each other? Nothing. Nothing. Bro, that's gas. That that's is straight fire. fire. <laughs> like we literally had nothing of substance in those Not conversations. Tired. And so once I was like, you're a fucking dumbass, and I like realized. And then the good guy was like, still obviously a good guy, and was like, ah, I told you so. And I was like, oh, he <laughs> oh, did, and so. I understand that now. So. Who could that good guy be? We'll let you know <laughs> after the podcast. <laughs> um. Anyway, so then I realized conversation is a huge thing for me, and if I can sit there and talk to you for hours, but even lack of conversation too, which is weird. Like if I can sit there in silence and feel so just comfortable and at peace. That's that. I, that's like such a tell when you're how how close you are with somebody is when you can sit there in complete silence and not feel awkward. Do you think we can sit there in complete silence? We have sat there in complete silence uh -oh. before. Uh -oh. I mean, not in a bad way. Not like, in a good way is what I'm saying. Nope. But like, eyes right nope. now. Can what? you guys look each other in the eyes really quick? Repeat after me. I. <laughs> Jared, repeat after me. I don't me. think we can do it. I. I. Want. Want. To, to experience experience you happiness. <laughs> <laughs> you guys never <laughs> I want to do, huh? Um, to no, but like when we drove here. to San Diego. Oh like, my gosh, we sat in complete silence. Like there was a, a few times. I mean, granted, like we had like music playing, but it was kind of low, you know? And then just like, yeah, we were just kind of well, just cool. driving like on autopilot. And then, you know, you create a it. Tesla. What? No, I wish, dude. You have a I 2009. A uh, that is Toyota. one of my well, biggest. Can I bring up just one thing really quick? Yeah. You have a 2009 Toyota Camry. Completely fine. Drive what you drive. <laughs> I drove a 2004 Toyota Camry for a while. It had 
Solera, Toyota. or sorry, Solera, same brand, Toyota. It had giant dents in the side. It was a beautiful car. Scrapes from my garage four years the ago. The only concern I have is, Jared, you can't have a Louis Vuitton <laughs> strap strapped to your Toyota. I also have a Toyota. I think it's fitting. It, just, it's, it just seems a little tacky to me. Isn't this fake Louis yeah, too? Okay, see? Louis. So Indy found this. We were like cleaning out her closet. I just found it. And she found it. And uh, like her and Riley both have one of these. And I was like, yo, can I have this? And she's like, sure. And then we put it on my keychain. <laughs> and and he said, I feel rich. I said, I'm fucking, fucking rich. rich. Freaking sorry. Um, Thank you. This is a wholesome podcast. I know. And, uh, and then I just thought it was so Zach funny. just ripped me a new one because he's like, yeah, the, the thing is cool, but not when it's attached to a Toyota key. Um, Same thing I for think me. It looks I've better. got a Toyota and I don't attach. Luke. You have a nice Toyota, Zach. No, no not. Nice. I mean, what are you talking what about? What are you talking about? You have a blacked out lift kit Tacoma with Let's a roll clip. Scoop. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, but that's a beefy car, but it's, it's still not a very like. It's, I'm, I'm very blessed to have the car. It's a nice car. But it, I, just take, take, take a damn compliment. Darn compliment. Well, well now, but now it looks like I'm an, I'm an a-hole because I'm making... I, I don't think it, it makes It seems you. like I, I was don't. making fun of you for what you drive when no. that wasn't the thing at all. So I'm making I, fun of you that you put a, I make a Louis Vuitton my, thing on your car. I make fun of myself for what I drive as well. No, I saw your dream car today. Now I feel pretentious. The R8. It was sexy. It was all blacked out, Ooh. but the trim on it, like the parts that would be chrome and the um, wheels were all a shiny black. Ooh. It looked really good. Speaking of cars, <laughs> you know what I uh, what I learned the other day? I do, so we don't have to talk about it. What what I learned, Zach? Wait, put me on a spot, Jerry. It made me look dumb. Hey, well, <laughs> you made Well, I apologize for undermining your conversation you're about to start. Thank you. So anyway, I looked up because we were, we were driving. And somebody pointed out how good this Volkswagen looked. This like Volkswagen SUV. And I was there. I remember it being like nice Volkswagen. That's a nice Volkswagen, right? And someone said it kind of looks like an Audi. And I said, well, Volkswagen owns oh, Audi. Oh, I said this. Yeah. And so <laughs> well, I like how we pretend we have more friends. <laughs> yeah, so we're probably hanging out with like all these people. And, and, it's like like, oh, it's me. and we and we all noticed this car and we were like, who makes that car? And it was just us having um, a really boring normal day. We, we saw a car and we noticed that it was made by a company. Okay. Anyway, so oh, I, sorry. I said, I was like, well, Volkswagen owns Audi. And I knew that. And then I was curious. I was like, I also knew they owned Lamborghini. And I was- Volkswagen? Yeah. Well, it's the Volkswagen group. It's kind of like the GM, the German version of GMC, mm. right? Anyway, so then I look it up. I'm like, who else does Audi own? They own- Audi, or who else does Volkswagen own? They own Audi, Lamborghini, Porsche, Bentley. Wow, they're making Bugatti, Ducati. Like, literally. They're making some money. Yeah. Like, Bugatti alone, those cars are handmade, like, to order and cost a million dollars, I think, floor price. I made a, um, I handmade a, a cup when I was younger. Out of clay? Yeah, out of clay. So it was Did very similar ever, to, like, them creating a car from scratch. And do you ever it. have that? Uh, that experience in art class where you had to make something out of clay and then they put it in the kiln <laughs> and you didn't do it a hundred percent right. And it had an air bubble in it and it exploded in the kiln and it ruined everybody else's projects. Um, I'm not well, something tells me that that happened to you. No, <laughs> I'm not well versed yeah. in, in kiln work. No, I never, even I never did anything clay like, Oh, interesting. I guess that was just my school. Sounds but it like was, sounds like a rich. School, it was also Jerry. just. It was, it was also just your school that you built a flamethrower and didn't get expelled. So. No. So, you, so your school <laughs> had a kiln, huh? Yeah, we had a kiln, and um, it was really. It was actually kind rich. of dark because the first time I or like when I tried to make it, I was trying to make a, a clay portrait of my dog, and it's the one that face, died. Yep. Its face exploded and then ruined everybody else's projects as well. Nice. So. Anyway, that was my... That was probably a sad day. <laughs> so, hey, guys. Uh, Jared ruined your passions. So... I don't... I don't you think... You guys want to beat him up at recess? Probably be... I'll look the other way. I don't um, think I was ever actually outed for being the one that ruined it. But everybody else got to, like, have a piece of their destroyed, you know, clay and thing. And you didn't have it. And I didn't have a thing. So I just assumed it was mine that blew up. Would you like to publicly apologize? I would. Your camera right here. Um, to the class of 2016, uh, I believe it was eighth grade um, in the art class. I forget the teacher's name. I apologize sincerely. 
anyway. Did you ever have a, any- You started in, you finished school in 2016? Mm-hmm. Did you ever have any attractive teachers? Yeah. Um, her name, <laughs> I don't want to say her name because- Say her name. Well, no, because pe- people can find her. Anyway. I'll find her. Um, uh, what, what, what did she teach? She taught- what He didn't even know. He's like, that's <laughs> so high. Uh, she taught blood flow. Health. Okay. Did she teach you? <laughs> yeah. I had her a couple times. Oh, and she taught health? Yeah. No. Oh. Well, so it was kind of funny. But this was when I was still like chunky and like I was kind of a late bloomer. So I didn't when have you a chance. Like a you didn't have the sex appeal back then. I like did, you, do I now. Had, you weren't the bad boy. This the is when you still podcast. look like a lesbian. Oh, a thousand percent. Um, hmm. uh, but yeah, no, she was she was like a younger teacher. Like, I don't, I don't think straight out of college, but like a couple years, you know, um, she was like super cool with all the students. Our but exam in health was to watch Mean Girls in class and write a one paragraph summary of the movie. <laughs> that was our exam. Did like, you pass? Yeah, of course. Oh, thank Flying goodness. Flying colors. She was a UK fan. Speaking of UK. There we go. We freaking beat Florida for the first time in like since 1986. Um, Kentucky beat Florida um, football. I don't know if you guys keep up with SEC football, but- uh, We had some good plays too. I showed you that one. You keep saying we. It's the second game you ever watched, okay? No, it's not. I've watched all the games this season. All of them. She didn't watch last week. That's not true. I thought last week was the Florida game. Yeah, she only caught it at halftime. But No, I didn't. I was watching it on ESPN Plus on my phone as I was organizing. I was watching it. It wasn't working on my, it was not working on my TV, but I was watching it. I That, that was all, that was a litmus test for if you actually had passion for- I do for have passion. Um, I showed Indy football yeah. um, recently. <laughs> I uh, taught her what the sport was. Uh, my favorite team is the Kentucky Wildcats as she has adopted that um, to herself now. Um, it's part of her personality. Big fan. Big fan of the Kentucky Wildcats. I really want to get license plates. Are you <laughs> kidding me? Dude, The you've watched for what? Four or five yeah. weeks now <laughs> and you're it's like- wild. It's not just- it's wild how quickly she attaches herself to things. That's why I, I've like seen her addictive nature. So I'm trying to. Oh yeah, like <laughs> you like tennis. So yeah, you, she used to be attacked, uh, addicted to like bad boys and spending money and 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 things that weren't as good. So I'm trying to show her things that you could be addicted to. They're a little a little bit better. So football, she's addicted to now. And um, well, Kentucky in general, I'm a big fan. And um, I got her with a tennis coach, and she's been going every day for like six six days. The last six days she's gone every day, which is pretty funny because she went for casual lessons and I didn't realize the guy I hooked her up with played professionally in South America. And still for, does. He um, still does play professionally. Still does play professionally. He's a little older now, but he play, played for like 19 years professionally in, in South America. And the guy is built like a unit and he's training her like she's training for the Olympics. I thought it was going to be casual. This is how you hit the ball. Um, here, Jared, I'll send you a video. Put this up on the screen. This is how they are training. And like... I I have blisters on pretty much every part of my body right now. We trained in 93 or 4 degree heat the other day and I felt like I was going to pass out and throw up. Like he's got me I go out there and, and I watch her to give her uh, moral support and I say, good job. And then she He turns- doesn't come in my early morning sessions because I've been going in the morning more recently. Hey, but- I've only missed two. Oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, that's true. I did go in the early morning sessions because I, gonna- I remember saying that was early. Are you going to come tomorrow? Um, depends if my right hand hurts or not. All right, uh, Jared, you want to? <laughs> but um, so wait. Thank there you so go. much. Nice. So she came for. I probably okay. No one judge me. I've only been playing for like six days. Or completely judge her. It doesn't matter to us. I we don't play, know. You. I care. <laughs> like he he attached her to this rope that like gives <laughs> you, resistance. You look like a kid <laughs> at Disney World <laughs> whose parents don't trust her. I know. <laughs> Wait, show, send me the one with her tennis grunt in it. No, no, please don't put that in. Oh, okay, it's fine. It's embarrassing. <laughs> I gotta fix ah! it. <laughs> this was- I gotta fix my tennis grunt and I know that. We can learn that. Again, went for casual lessons and this guy didn't know that. So he's literally training her for like, it's the Olympics. Oh no, he wants me playing tournaments in, what did he say my schedule was, sorry? Uh, you have <laughs> tournaments in about a four month span. He thinks I'll be playing tournaments in four months. He said, he said you will only line your walls with trophies in gold. I was like, okay. He said, I want trophies and medals on your walls. I said, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning Spanish too. I love his accent.
<laughs> I, I do it pretty well. I, uno, dos, tres. Like, I'm doing it pretty well. But, like, he... Dun, 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 dun. I'm learning Spanish, too. Because, like, he... When he's, re- when he's really getting into it, he's like, Vamanos, Indy, vamanos! It's like Dora. I don't think you've ever had um, something this constructive to put, like, your emotional and physical well-being into and and how do you feel that now that you have it, it feels like your body at least physically has a purpose right now um is is how you've almost explained it so can you talk about just what it feels like to be on the verge of being an athlete i've been really enjoying it i mean this i've only been doing it for six days which doesn't sound, that's six hours but now we can track your progress okay i've been doing it for six days um today i had a rest day and i or like i really wanted to go out and well, okay. well, what would be really fun is if once you get to a place where you can play in a tournament, if we play in like a mixed doubles, mixed doubles. Tur- tournament together, and then we have the dropouts, people come watch. That would be so cool. Jared, you be. can be there with a sign that's like, I'm not as good as you guys or something. Like <laughs> you, can, you can come with your own signs, creative, just long I'll as just, it like- I'll just come with that sign that's sitting on our drop couch. Notes. No, no, no. Like you can come with a sign that's like, can't believe you guys are doing something I can't, or just like something- Okay. Like so, I don't know. I reckon know. you could play Some, tennis. Something. I told him. No, no he not definitely. Hard. Everybody could play tennis. It's not hard. Well, no, it is. I mean, it's it's difficult. It's more a lot more difficult than people think. Well, I agree, but it's also like you it, you can be taught anything. Well, yeah, you can. Be I can't believe anything, I've come a long but, way from being like you play tennis to playing tennis. Like I I, I went full out. I bought myself new Wait, tennis shoes. Jared, can we can we intercut that one clip yeah. from a while ago? I can give you the TikTok. Okay, give me the TikTok because yeah. I was like, oh, that is going to be God. hell to find. The Zach, best. you played tennis. We went to the final he four every year. I don't want to hear for it. For tennis. You played tennis. I don't need to say anything more. Zach, what did your tennis grunt sound like? Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was either that or, oh my God, daddy. So those are my two grunts. I got a lot of looks from the stands. I could see if Zach like stuck with it and ended up at like Wimbledon or something. Yeah, I'm just like, (laughs) spank me like you own me. And everybody's just like, yo, whoa, what is this guy doing? I don't know how I went from making fun of Zach for playing tennis and the US Open and the US Open roasting roasting me to playing tennis every single day and like investing myself completely in. Why do you think I'm wearing a wrist brace right now? Because I, I oh, hurt my. Shit. I didn't even notice. Because I hurt I my wrist. That was just your shoot. I hurt my. I hurt my wrist. I hurt my wrist playing. Did I give up? No. I've got probably the worst blisters I've ever seen. Oh, on my, they're ugly. On my, I mean, the thumb one's healing now, but on my thumbs, on my feet, there's blood on my tennis shoes. Blood from bleeding through my socks. Can I taste it? Ew. That's gross. I bought myself. <laughs> I bought myself Naomi Osaka's tennis shoes that she wears. In hot pink. In hot pink. I'm dedicated. I bought matching wristbands, but it feels good to like ha- put myself. Like I, I did an ice bath the other day for like. Jared and I watched you. For, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds weird. I was close. When you say yeah, I was like, when you say it like that, it sounds bad. I, I don't know. It feels good to like put my mind towards something like this and. It, it's a lot different than just because I'm getting a, obviously a, a really good workout from doing it, but I'm also developing a skill that I'll be able to, you know, utilize. Use, utilize. Might be a word we could use. Yeah. Um, Jared, you had things you wanted to talk about. Let's um, spit it out to the universe so um, it can accept it. Okay. Um, do you guys want to play a game? Sure. No, I'm good. Yeah, I'll play now. Okay. I thought it over. <laughs> All right. So I. Uh, I found this on TikTok and I want to see how good you guys are at it. I'm going to be like a four out of 10. I think I'm going to be like a five out of 10. Wow. So I saw this TikTok okay. and it's a whole series that these people have, but Beautiful. it's uh, it's called poorly described movie plots. Okay. And then we have to guess what the movie plot and is. And then you have to guess what the movie plot okay, is. So you give it to us, Indy. Are we, are we two braining this or are we one braining this? One, try to one brain it first. Okay. And then if you have absolutely no idea, you can two brain it. Okay. All right. Who's going first? Let's just go at the same time. Or should we should we have like a buzzer system? We'll, we'll do this. We'll Bing. go. Okay. Well, you have to say anarchy for to, to go first. Whoever says anarchy first. Okay. okay. All right. You ready? Why anarchy. anarchy. Um, Toy Story 3. I haven't said a movie yet. All right. Wait, All right. I, what are we playing? Holy, Holy heck. <laughs> heck. First one. Four, gar- four guys are running late for a wedding. Anarchy. Okay. The hangover. Correct. Oh, it's actually going to be so good Suck at Suck it. Sorry. Zach's going to be so good at this. I, I I've, Zach I like competition. is a, a I like, little cinephile. Jared, I like competition to get the best of me, and I just told someone, my friend, to suck it. 
No. In a derogatory way, I might I add. Indy, you don't have to suck. Please it. flame me in the comments for being a bad person. I don't want to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Second one. A young troublemaker comes to town and encourages the preacher's daughter to commit felonies. Uh, <laughs> it's the silence uh -huh. that hit. Two brain it. Anarchy. Okay. <laughs> Zach's got his thinking face on. <gasps> what could it be? Drum roll. Hannah Montana, the movie. Nope, not Hannah Montana, the movie. Um, can you repeat it, please? A young troublemaker comes to town and encourages the preacher's daughter to commit felonies. Anarchy. Uh-huh. Footloose. Hell yeah. Wow. Oh my Footloose. gosh, I should have listened better. I realized I didn't hear the word you said initially. I didn't see either of those What words. word? The sentence. I didn't listen the oh, first time. I've seen time. the hangover. Oh. Nice. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Senior citizen, senior citizen knows that he shouldn't be falling in love with a high school student. Oh, what the fuck? Well, you say that and then you're going to hear what movie this is. Senior, uh, uh, anarchy. Uh-huh. Up. No. What? Well, cause he's not falling in love in like a, falling in, like in love a romantic way, but, but is it, but he's, that would, you're right. That would be a poorly described movie plot. Cause he starts to love him as like a grandson okay. or something. Um, it's twilight. Senior senior oh. citizen throws it off, but oh, just because yeah, he's a couple he hundred is. years old. Technically, he's not a senior citizen because he stopped aging. He's still seventeen and a baddie, might I add. He's kind of like the bad boy of Wait, the crew. A baddie? You're the you're the Edward Cullen of our podcast. I think that's you. Washboard? No, Jared. You have washboard abs. No, I don't. All the yes, all the girls want to have intimate relations with you. No, they don't. It's written all over your face. <laughs> okay, I was pretty decent. With I haven't the whole gotten up thing. one. That was pretty good. I haven't gotten one. You're probably not going to get this one. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. Well, I, I mean, like I even had a hard time with it. And uh, it, man has an awful time at wife's Christmas party at wife's office Christmas party. Oh, um. if you get this and I eat my words, then the wife part is throwing me off. Is it a common movie? Yeah. At wife's like it's it's a staple. <sighs> Never been a staples. I'm, I'm an office depot guy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Why are you smiling so much? Because it's when you hear it, you're gonna be like, "That makes so like what?" <laughs> do we so get cute, do Jared. we get more hints? Um, is it a Christmas movie? I wouldn't say it's a Christmas movie, but obviously it's set in Christmas time. You know? Oh, um, Die Hard. Yeah, Die Hard. I've never seen it. Uh, that's why I figured you probably. Would. I've never seen Die Hard either. You've never seen Die Hard? No, I just know that people are like, "Is it a Christmas movie? Is it not?" So I use my context clues. Smart. Thank Smart. you. Smart. Uh, man stalks woman with memory disorder. Oh, um. Oh, my anarchy. God, email. Funny email. Nope. Fifty first dates. Yes, Indy got one. Yay. All right. Funny email, kind of. Does no? I feel like, like woman with memory disorder stalks. Uh, yeah. But I thought he went to no, her no. for help. I think she didn't. She find him and no. was like, "I'm gonna help." I don't know. Huh? I, no. Came out to I found her. He found her. Yeah. Okay, I know, I totally. I'm just they saying met, they met at the diner. Remember? What you're no, talking about? You're talking about, about next one, Jerry. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're, we're, we're talking, talking about, about fish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Here. No, uh, yeah, she found him. All right. Thank me, you. <laughs> then we're caught up. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. The next one. Let's get points for up. Phone prankster takes things a little too far. Uh, uh anarchy. Okay. Scream. Yeah. I've never seen Scream. Scream. Good I, job. I didn't like scary movies as a kid. She's on the phone and I remember, yeah, Scream. Yeah. Two men go on a multiple camping, go on multiple camping trips over the course of multiple decades. Multiple decades? Yeah. It's, in a, it's a classic? Mm hmm Have I seen it? Probably not. <laughs> okay, what I'm hearing is there's two males. Two males. And they're, go they're going on camping, on camping trips. trips is what I heard. Come on, you got this. Two men, camping trips. Uh, anarchy, Brokeback Mountain. Yep, there you go. What, really? That was a joke. <laughs> no, that was it. Two men go on multiple camping trips. Even, oh, because they're pitching tents. <laughs> right? <gasps> Maybe. I haven't seen the movie. I just I figured either. they actually go on camping trips. No, I because I was kind of thinking Brokeback Mountain, but I didn't know that they went on multiple camping trips. This one is very hard. Man entertains crowd. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, Anarchy, The Greatest Showman. No. I was going to say guess, that. Good guess, though. But Man entertains they crowd. Do. Oh, Gladiator. Yeah. Holy shit. Wow. Damn. Okay. Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> the, 
That was pretty That's good. That's pretty impressive that you got that. Well, I got it on the second try. So All right. I get nothing. <laughs> this one you should be able to get really easily. A woman finds out her father is a bookshelf. Indy. Bookshelf? Yeah. A woman finds out her father is a bookshelf. A bookshelf? A bookshelf. You got this. Just th- think 2% harder. You got it. Um, uh, I'm going to guess, but I don't think I'm right. Okay. Beauty and the Beast? Nope. Um, Wait, don't tell me. Do you want a hint? Yes. Uh, that's too much of a hint. Just give her a hint. Um, you she- watched it fairly recently. <gasps> Father's a bookshelf. Father's a bookshelf, eh? I watched it recently. It's a kind movie. Of. You watched it for the first time recently. Oh, Interstellar. There you go. I was I was oh, about it's to kind say of giving it with a plot. <laughs> well, I was about to say I was like I was gonna be like he's a keynote speaker at Zach's brother's. Company. Oh, dude! Apparently, <laughs> my brother's newest investor investor in his company is Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what it's like living up to these things? Dude. My my sister got her MBA and is going to med school. My other sister is already a doctor, and then my brother has got this billion dollar company, and Matthew McConaughey is gonna be speaking on behalf of him. As well, I make TikToks online. <laughs> Dude, I am. And, and you make movies. And you're guessing movie plots. <laughs> oh, I gotta rethink my whole life. All right, a sm- I love this one. A small town doctor brings three people closer together. Three blind mice. No. Nope. <laughs> small town doctor brings three people closer together. Why do you love this one? Because I think it's a really funny description for the movie. I've never actually seen this movie, but have I seen it? Probably not. Okay, then how am I supposed to get it? Have I seen it? Maybe. Give, I have no idea. Give us a hint. Think of a bug. B movie. Nope. Herbie nope. fully loaded. <laughs> <laughs> no. I give up. The human centipede. Oh. Yeah, I've never seen it. Yeah, never seen I it. never seen it, but I thought the description. That's a funny way to describe it. Brings three people closer. A small together. town doctor. Last one. A reclusive weirdo and his mutant employees lure children and dispose of them one by one. Despicable me. No. <laughs> Why are we so confident? <laughs> um, mutant, a reclusive weirdo and his mutant employees lure children and dispose of oh, them. Oh, um, um, uh, anarchy! Anarchy! Okay. Uh, what did you say? The Willy Wonka chocolate factory? <laughs> yes. Yes. Wait, wait, what did you say? Did you say acrylic? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> I don't know what I said. I'll roll the tape back. But anarchy! But anarchy! But anarchy! Well, I think we did decent, huh? Charlie. Yeah. Really? Pretty good. Oh, I, I wanted to look up. Uh, so there's this website where you can look up what um, a Florida man did on did your you birthday. Did you guys know they're coming out with another Willy Wonka? Very. <laughs> hey, Zach, freak whatever <laughs> you were talking about. Timothy Chalamet is playing Willy Wonka. Shut I'm, the I'm hell. so dead serious. Oh. I'm all for Willy Wonka. Timothy Chalamet to star as Willy hey, Wonka hey, in prequel at Warner Bros. <laughs> Timothy now, Shell, I mean, that makes sense. You put these two people side, side by side, they look identical. Obviously. Well, if you put Timothy Chalamet and Johnny Depp's Willy Wonka side by side, they look identical. Dude. It's not. It's women not, it's the want one. Women Gene Wilder? Like, they look very similar. What did that just load? <laughs> what did that just load? Massage your facial for seven. Oh, I thought, I thought like it was porn. like. Yeah, I was like, whoa. Were you looking at porn on your phone? Yep. Don't say yep like that's not out of the question. Dude, girls have the wet and wild for Timothy Chalamet. Timothy Chalamet. What, why is that? I don't know. It, it seems that most girls I talk to would um, do anything to consummate the young man. I wouldn't. I think he's a phenomenal actor. So if he just, was here right now, you wouldn't want to kiss him on the lips? Not particularly. Wow. He's a little short for me. How tall is he? I'm going to guess like 5'8". I'm going to guess 5'9". How tall is Timothy Chalamet? It's 5'10". Oh, wow. okay. Timothy. <laughs> okay, so uh, Florida is a state where the most random things happen in the United States. Um, I know you're not from America, but Florida is is our meme of the 50 states. Oh, um, really? Yeah, everything bad and weird and crazy happens in Florida. Um, <laughs> great great places in Florida, too. I used to live very close to Florida, but Florida's Florida's got a little meth in it. And we, and we all know that. <laughs> so you can see what a Florida man did on the day. So it's like a news headline. Like, today, Florida man done and oh. on August 23rd. Oh, I want to see that. So who wants to go first? Who are we doing we'll first? We'll do Indy first because she's an intention hog. All right. <laughs> Florida man. An intention hog? 
Yeah. Did you say intention hog? You said hog? intention hog. Florida man accused of using Kool-Aid packets to steal nearly $1,000 in Walmart merchandise. What? That's a backstory. <laughs> okay. um, Do you have any context or we just kind of left with that? So it says Bradley Young, 37, was charged with grand theft and shoplifting after Collier County Sheriff's Office deputies said he'd uh, he hid the powder drink packets in his hand while scanning expensive items. In turn, each item he scanned at the self checkout register only rang up for 24 cents. That's oh, pretty okay. smart. Oh, I see. What, That's okay. pretty smart. Pretty, he got caught. I know, but the idea behind it was smart. You get caught too, sounds like. So he used it Florida. to purchase uh, a $250 scooter. I love it. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> the guy's like, so you paid 24 cents for a scooter and then it looks like a full house? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. $120 for a dual navigation system and $160 worth of batteries. <laughs> Where is he going? I don't know. <laughs> Where is I think I, I, he must be traveling across the country on that scooter <laughs> with those batteries. <laughs> Cuz if you think about it's, it, it's a multi-navigation system, might I add. Yeah. He wants to know what's north and south. All in all, Young rang up three Kool-Aid packets along with a handful of other small, smaller items for a total of 24.44, but the actual value of the items taken was $994.13. And that's <laughs> enough for grand theft? Yeah. What's above? What's that's that panhandle debauchery. What's um, what's ha what's the requirement for grand theft? I have no idea. I thought it was like ten grand, or five, or I don't think a thousand so. at least. But he remains in custody with Collier County Sheriff's Office and is listed as a convicted felon in Ohio as well. <laughs> Dude, free him! <laughs> Dude, the guys, he didn't do. It. He no, he definitely it. did it. But let's get him out. <laughs> Florida man flashes buttocks at IHOP after impersonating <laughs> a police officer to get free food. You got to do it. That, that's your birthday, Zach. <gasps> yeah, and it sounds like a pretty good birthday. It sounds like I might have been there. I and mean, if not, I wish I would have got the invite. Happy birthday. Jared, what was yours? Do we not want any context behind mine? Are we just rolling with it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, that's nice. All right, so my... Thanks a lot, <laughs> dragon. Speaking of dragon. Oh. No. <laughs> okay. Go, Jared. Jeez, guys. We're uh, on a time crunch. We have a why don't we party to go just, to. I was just excited about the new House of Dragons. We're not. Hey, if all my... it is is eight letters. Why is that so hard to say? So June 20th, <laughs> Florida man pulled a gun at Starbucks over cream cheese. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> police say an angry Florida man pulled a gun on a drive through worker because they forgot the cream cheese with his bagel. <laughs> Are you serious? You got to do what you got to do, though. You pulled a strap. Did he get, get his cream cheese? The employee just happened to be the daughter of the Miami Gardens police chief. It happens. It happens. <laughs> he pulled a gun on the wrong person someday for the green, some cream so cheese. So what happened? Did he, did he get his cream cheese? You know what? Probably. Um, In jail he did. Man. You should be sponsored by like a cream cheese company. Like, you want it this bad? <laughs> <laughs> but that it's would like, be good. It's like the 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 Klondike bar. Like, what what would you do? Ooh, for a Klondike bar. I would ruin Jared's family's uh, 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 parents' um, marriage. I would do that for a Klondike bar. I would uh, manipulate. Um, I would manipulate you. Um, That's me. Into into doing hard drugs. And Jared, I, I look like it's getting so dark. I would uh, cut off your foot. For a Klondike bar. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this is Aww. this is Dropouts podcast. Jared's a little depressed because he has something else to say, but tune in next week for that little <laughs> cliffhanger. <laughs> anyway, um, if you stay till the end, make sure to DM me on Instagram. And this week, we're gonna uh, tell me your best pickup really line. Interesting. And I really what? Nothing. It's too long to talk about. Now we'll talk about it next week. We can talk about it next week, Jared. Write it down. I have it. I'm looking at it right now. Jared, are we still friends? I feel like there's a lot of animosity between us. No. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's episode of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. That's Allegedly. Jeff Brown Music. Make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Dropouts Pod, and we'll see you guys next week for another episode of Dropouts. Bye. Bye, my little swag daddies. Um, Jared's going through a lot emotionally right now, so if you guys could send him support. Um, we, I heard him crying at night.